Hello everyone, it is I, Jimrin, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Hardcore. And in today's episode, I'm finally getting up to the villager trading, the villager breeding, and building the village trading hall, and all this awesome stuff, and hopefully it will enable me to get better items and gear, and I'll be able to progress in the game much quicker. Now, here's a disclaimer, I'm going to get very annoyed in this video, because, well, villagers are annoying. But on top of that, you guys may, um, you may hate me actually. I did some mining off camera, the typical Minecraft Let's Player thing, and, um, don't worry, I think I said it in my last episode, but here it is, 29 diamonds. I went mining and got 29 diamonds, because I wanted some diamond gear. I was scared that I was going to die, so I went and got myself some diamonds to make diamond gear. The only reason I'm doing that, as I said before, is just to make sure I don't die, and I also said it in my last episode. Now, let's get to the awesome diamond armor making. Here we are. Ooh, helmet. Ooh, chest plate, legs, boots. Ooh, go away, you disgusting armor. I'll put you upstairs where you belong in the discard bin of shame. Now, let's put all of this on. Oh, I look so cool. I'm awesome now. You may call me King Chimmerin because I'm better than all of you. Bow down to me. I'm joking. I'm joking. Now, we've got some spare diamonds. I think I'm just going to make a sword and then I'll leave it at that. Here we are. I've got my sword now. I'm going to put my diamonds away safely in my disorganized chest. Oh, and look how awesome I look. So threatening. If these villagers annoy me, yeah, that's gonna happen. They're dead. Now, um, I've got a surprise you as well. You may remember I mentioned something about customizing a never portal in my last video. Well, we just all path, all Easter eggs, all secrets, all ready for this. Three, two, one, boom! Here it is. The awesome never portal that I made. Personally, I really like the design. It reflects the never perfectly, in my opinion. You've got access to it on both sides as well. I've also grown some trees around just because they look pretty boring around here. But here we are. These are my other portal. I hope you guys enjoy it. And what we're going to be doing now is very boring stuff, which is preparing a spot in my basement for the villagers because they deserve to live in my basement. That's, that's just why they're, they're villagers. Now, anyway. Well, where I'm going to put it, let's think here, think logically, I haven't got room. That's the best way of putting it, but I can hide it in the corner here. A little trap door, possibly, if I have any spare. Do I have any spare? I've got ladders. So, that's, that's a good thing, but maybe just a little bit down there, in the basement. I'll put a uh, trap door up there, after it's kind of speed shut up. But, I'm going to dig down just a bit into um, stone level, stone level, here we are, and I'll, I can't place any torches here, can I, so I have to do this, there we go, and now I've got plenty of room, so I'm going to look down at the floor, like this, and when I look back up, there'll be a nice space, so let's get into it, and now we're going to look up to see this awesome room that I dug out, now, it may look small, but it's enough room for three villagers on each side. And, of course, when it's fully customised, it will look awesome. Trust me. I've got a design in my head. I don't know if it's going to work, but you know me. I'll make it work. But I reckon before we build this, we need to actually sort out the villager breeder, and I'll take you through how to build one of those. So, I'll snap my fingers, and we'll be in a village. Now, here we are, in my chosen spot for the villager breeder. Why do I want it here? It's in the centre of all of the village, and I'll be able to get the villagers down there easily. Now, I only really need two of them to kickstart this bad boy. So, what you're going to want to do when you start off is dig down just a bit. It doesn't need to be very deep, because it is only a villager breeder at the end of the day. But it would still be nice to have some depth to it, so you will actually have some space to work around. Because you, you do need to do quite a bit of digging. So, once I'm get down here... Oh! I'll, uh, a little bit close. I'll dig another hole. I'll see you in a second.
So anyway guys, here's a checkup of what I'm, I have been up to, basically what I'm doing. I am um, making a makeshift farm, because if you don't know, basically what villagers do, they throw crops at each other to breed. So it's going to be a wheat farm or carrot farm or anything like that, and have one farmer in it and a normal villager in it, and from that point onwards they will automatically breed without me having to have any input. There's going to be like a water stream down here. That will take the babies away because I'll get lured over here by some beds at night. The babies get taken away into a chamber where I will collect them and take them to my house. That's right, because I'm like that. Now, I'll see you in a second. the villagers now, any second now it will be done. Here we go, plop you in. Sorry bro, we have a rough landing on her. And here it is, a villager breeder in its full glory. We've got villagers, we've got farmer, primarily we need at least one of them to go harvesting all that stuff. Once it's full up they'll begin to breed. But basically they will be breeding Babies will go try and get to bed, realise, well they can't, they'll just drop off into this tube. Uh, one second, block this back up again. Uh, this tube leads all the way down here, to here, where the baby still can't leave. I'll close it just in case. And that's where I'll come down and collect them. Which I think is a really good method of doing things, in my opinion. I think I've just repeated myself more than once. But if you want to replicate this design, it's a design by Iskal85. He's a, a Minecraft um, YouTuber that I watch quite frequently. So, you know, go give him a watch, give him a subscribe. You know, he's way more popular than I am, but I still want to shout out bigger creators just, just because I can. He's a really nice guy, he's a really good YouTuber. Go watch him. Now, um, it didn't come up with sacrifices making this because I had to hurt those villagers quite a bit, and as you may have seen, I was very worried that I may make an iron golem angry at me. Very worried. But don't do not fear, I am going to live on. But it is time to go make a new axe actually, because during that you may notice my axe is missing. I um I broke it. Oh, that was dull of me. I accidentally broke my axe, which is brilliant. Why isn't it here? Oh I know that's dull me, because I actually put C at the top. Anyway, now that I've got an axe, I'm going to do some resource gathering, which will be a snap for you guys. And then I'll begin customising the basement. Now, with all the boring stuff out of the way, it's time to get into building this room. Let's get into it.
now as the time lapse comes back to a slow pace, I just want to say this room came out way better than I thought it would. Since it's only a, a simple design for well, villager trading, it, well, considering that it's it's amazing in my opinion, it's got everything that the house has just underneath, really. Same block pallet, I've probably added some uh, deep slate, I think that's cool. Sorry, it's still new blocks to me, 1.18, haven't played much of this update. But obviously you can see the villagers will go in their individual stalls and stuff like that. They're all one big stall at the moment, I haven't gotten around to that. That'll be something I would cover when when the villagers are here. And that'll be something I'll be doing in between episodes, because nobody, trust me, no one wants to deal with villagers. And I've had enough of them already trying to get them in my boat. Honestly, never again with villagers, but well, I'm going to have to put villagers in my boat again. Where is that spider? Oh, oh well, never mind. Now, let's have another peek into the nether, shall we, before I end this episode. I kind of wussed out last time. Oh, one second. Yeah, I got blocks, got food, got everything perfect. I wussed out last time, and I want to give it another shot. I want to go in there and slay that... Oh my gosh, I'm making loads of mistakes here. I want to go in there and slay that foul beast. I'll see you there. Right, we're here in the nether. Here you are. It's a foul beast. Okay, he hits three shields. No, I know he doesn't. He is, for some reason. What the hell, that wasn't that hard. Hey! Oh, no, one. that's three pork chops. Sorry, I read that wrong. Three pork chops. Oh, goodness me, for one one beast, that's a lot. I, I do wonder if there is anything around. Like a fortress or something. Let's leave like a trail behind. As I. As I try and parkour my way across. I'm really happy. This, this bedrock tactic you can do for bridging up. Oh dear. If he sees me, I'm gonna make a dive for it, honestly. This is so scary. My series could come to an end right here. Oh gosh. There we go. Right, pile up, pile up, pile up. Make a little like a mini staircase. There we go, right, I'm down. This is brilliant. So far, going well. Uh, is there anything around here? Oh, there's a, uh, on the right, you can see a bastion, actually. If I cover this, there's lava. Lava goes away so fast than ever, it's ridiculous. But, if I head over here, place some torches, so I can see where I'm going. I'm not see where I go, but I can see how to get back home. Um, you can just pop the way down here. And look, uh, there it is, you see it just through those trees? Those warped, warped trees, I think they're called? Still pretty new to all this. Never update stuff as well. I don't play Minecraft loads. Believe it or not, I know I'm awesome at the game, I've got awesome skills and all that. But I don't play the game that often, surprisingly. Here it is, the Bastion Remnant. Actually, I'm not wearing gold. That will be a, a crime to go through there. Uh, I'll leave a torch here so I know where to go to go home. I'm gonna check out over here. Oh, that's huge. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't try and go in there now. <laughs> Blimey. Oh, typical. Hearing piglins scares me sometimes, especially when I'm not wearing gold. I should have come here with gold on. Just to protect myself. Sorry, I have to do this with my uh, fist. It's really, really tough. But I should have prepared my shovel. Oh! <gasps> it's a fortress. You know what that means. Blazes. You know, that and village trading will be something for the next episode. I'm going to leave you guys on a cliffhanger. I'll see you back at base. From up here, I just want to say, we've just about ran out of time for this video. I want to thank you all very much for watching. And I'm sorry for leaving you all on a cliffhanger, but I will see you in the next video. Gosh, that was risky.